What about Temple? Trying to clinch a share of the Max East Division title with a win over the Kent State Golden Flashes. Freshman running back Bernard Pierce left the game with a shoulder injury after one carry. So who would shoulder the load on senior day of Lincoln Financial Field? Um, I would say it would be that guy, Matt Brown. Kent State actually led 10-9 at the half, but Brown 71 yards later made sure that his team is well out in front. 19-10 on that touchdown run. Ensuing possession for Kent State trying to fight back. Giorgio Morgan, though, intercepted by key air Griffin, and Griffin sees straight sailing to the end zone. 36 yards to the house, and you've seen the offensive touchdown, you've seen the defensive touchdown. 26 temp 10 Temple at this point. What about special teams? Here's special. Delano Green looks like he's trapped by four defenders, but as you can see, he clearly, clearly has room to run. 52 yards on the return. It's 40 to 10 at that point. Temple scoring 41 consecutive points. More Green this time on the reverse. Man, snapping ankles like my grandma used to snap beans. Nowhere to go but down the sideline for him. Temple, 10 touchdowns of 50 yards or longer as the Owls beat Kent State 47-13, but the Owls haven't won the division title just yet because Ohio did beat Northern Illinois 38-31. With inside access on this win, here's Greg Murphy. With his team trailing 10-9 after one lackluster half of play, Owls head coach Al Golden pulled out all the stops when it came to his halftime speech. I sung uh, Zombie Nation. That's what I did. They weren't having any fun. That's exactly what I did. That song that you hear at Penn State all the time, that's what I sung. How's that? A lot of, a lot of X's and O's. They came out and played hard. They weren't having any fun in the first half. Coach said that he sang to you guys at halftime, but, but we're getting conflicting reports from some of your teammates. Did he actually sing to you? What happened in the, at halftime? At uh, halftime, Coach was just telling us um, that we have to bring more energy. We have to play our style, of, uh, our brand of football. And he actually sang the song, um, oh, 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 oh. And then he um, sent us offensive and defense to one side of the room, and then we all kind of um, collaborated, and we came out with more intensity. So we really did sing. Yeah, a little bit. Or he hummed anyway. Yeah, hummed. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the coach said or sang at the break certainly did do the trick as the Owls came out and scored 38 straight points on their way to a school record ninth straight win. And they did so using every facet of the game, scoring on a 71-yard run from scrimmage, a 36-yard interception, and a 52-yard punt return. Big plays at big times. The thing that I'm pleased about is we're getting them from uh, a variety of sources. And I think that's the biggest difference. It's not just uh, the tailback uh, or the quarterback or a wideout. We're getting them from a, a lot of different uh, sources. Everybody bring energy. That's what coaches preach us all the time. Bring energy on the sideline. Guys who aren't playing, just bring energy to the guys that's on the field and just ha have success out there and just finish strong and play fast. With the win, the Owls set up next week's matchup with Ohio University. The winner earns a spot in the MAC championship game. We got a tough Ohio team down there the day after Thanksgiving, so it will be uh, quite a challenge. And that's really all we're thinking about right now. Before kickoff on Saturday at Lincoln Financial Field, the Temple Owls honored their senior class, the first ever recruiting class for Al Golden as the head coach of the Temple Owls. And even though this was their final game in cherry and white here on the home field, this senior class still has some unfinished business to attend to, like winning their first ever MAC Conference Championship and perhaps a postseason bowl game. At Lincoln Financial Field, Greg Murphy, Comcast Sportsnet.